I want you guys to stop real quick and do some imagination with me. Imagine being a doctor. Imagine getting ready to perform a major surgery. And before you go in and you begin to grab your tools to cut into the subject, imagine putting on a headset, a virtual reality headset, and then you perform the surgery with this virtual reality headset on the entire time. I don't think it's imaginary anymore. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some VR news with you. Now, I saw this headset and I just completely lost it. I saw this thing and I was like, there's no way that I can't share this thing because I've never seen anything like this and I never even thought that there was gonna be anything like this anytime soon. Like, it didn't even cross my mind at all. It wasn't even on my radar in any sort of way. I saw this thing and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I already thought that VR had achieved something just completely great in itself with the HP Reverb and the Quest 2 already. I thought these things had just done top notch stuff. But this headset, this headset, oh my gosh, this is news. Now the headset that we're gonna talk about today uses something called XR. Now there's AR and then there's VR. XR is just simply these two combined. Guys, I've not even begun to even think that headsets were even gonna do anything like this. But I want you to look at some of these capabilities, some of these things that this company is doing with this headset. And I do wanna just throw out the disclaimer. Now this isn't particularly for consumer grade use and it comes with a fairly heavy price tag. This is the Varjo XR3, which is claimed by Varjo themselves as the only true mixed reality headset. Varjo XR delivers the most immersive mixed reality experience ever constructed and features more photorealistic visual fidelity across the widest field of view of any other XR headset. And with the depth awareness capabilities of this headset, real and virtual elements blend together naturally. The color gamut on this thing is absolutely insane. It's able to achieve 99% on the sRGB and 93% on the DCI P3 color space, allowing for the most realistic scenes ever produced. Now the requirements to even run this headset are top notch. I'm talking GPU 3080. This thing is ridiculous. The minimum GPU for this thing is a 2080 Ti. This is thanks to the multiple displays that this headset runs simultaneously to deliver a natural sense of immersion. There's so much processing involved in this headset, the extra power is certainly needed. But it doesn't just stop there. The XR3 continues to go even further with a huge leap in their integrated hand tracking and 200 Hertz eye tracking giving you a real sense of natural interaction. As you can see, this guy's able to get into a car, which this is a test that they performed and bringing the car into a mixed reality as well into the headset, just here driving down the road with the headset on. Inside out tracking is also a plus as you have the ability to choose whether or not you use base stations. Varjo X3 is designed with a three-point precision headband. This allows you to have the maximum comfort and fits for all shapes and sizes. This headset also comes with automatic IPD. So no more trying to fiddle with some lens pushing or lever moving. This automatically sets the IPD, giving you the clearest picture possible in this headset. And last but not least, it has a 90 hertz refresh rate. Talk about some futuristic stuff. Wearing this headset, walking around the house, texting on your phone, replying to text messages, and never having to take it off. You just could just live in VR or XR, whatever. This headset provides the highest industry resolution with over 70 PPD or pixels per density and the widest field of view at 115 degrees. 
but as fantastic as this headset is, it does not come at a low cost. Varjo has multiple models that they offer for this headset, one of those being the XR model and the VR model. If you were to make the decision that this headset was for you, you would need to shell out 6,990 USD that comes with a one year subscription or the VR model, which also comes at a hefty 3,990 USD that also comes with that one year subscription, which is even required to even run the headset. You know, I talked about this early on when I started this channel, that there was gonna be a huge boom in technology and there was gonna be so many things that were going to come so quickly because of the advancements that were being made in AI technology in pushing the envelope and the capabilities. And it's crazy to see some of these things. You know, I started talking about this just kind of just off a whim. And don't waste your time trying to go back and look at this video. I discourage anybody from looking at any of my older videos. I was definitely not as vexed in this whole YouTube thing as I am now. Not to say that I'm good, but I've gotten better. I've gotten better. Not good yet, but I've gotten better. Guys, I don't know when this headset will be available as a, a consumer grade headset, but it's crazy to see this thing. I would love to have one. And if you guys somehow come across this video and you know, you wanna just send me one to talk about, I would do it. There's so many rapid releases in technology and bounds that are happening. It's absolutely insane. I never thought that I would see a headset like this anytime soon. I don't care what he says. Moore's Law is not dead. And you can tell him I said it. Guys, if you are using some of the trackers that I've actually given you methods for, I would go ahead and disable them. If you're, especially if they're using from Newegg. Newegg has got some sort of bot monitoring going on it, which is a good thing but they've actually uh, sent me something and banned my IP address because I was using those trackers. Now, don't fret if you were using them as well because you can just simply send them an email. They provide it to you when you try to get onto the website, send them an email and they can get it removed. But just make sure that you follow their instructions correctly. But like I said, if you have those trackers on for Newegg, take them off. This is good to see. I like to see this. Now I'm glad that I was able to catch it when I did and they hadn't released any cards just yet. But if you are using these trackers, take them off because now Newegg is actually making and cracking down on these bots, which is great to see. That's great for me, that's great for you. Got a much better chance at getting it than you know these bots trying to take over and get the cards that we're trying to get that nobody can get. So if you got them, take them off. That's gonna do it for the video. As always, if there's any questions, confusions, concerns, whatever it may be, please don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind helping. I really don't. I appreciate the support so far, and I really am trying to build something for you guys. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment, they go so far for the channel. They really help me continue to grow and stay in this space, and I'd like to do that. Now, if there was something that you didn't like or thought I could have done better, whatever it may be, feel free, leave a thumbs down. I just ask you to let me know what it was so I can continue to improve and do better. I really like to do that and I hope you let me know. With that said, I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.